I've got a box of wholesale USA sports jerseys here. There's 25, £10 a piece, and we're going to open it right now. Now, if you buy wholesale clothing, um, you'll know that um, picking up USA sports jerseys like NBA, um, MLS, NFL, NHL, it's not cheap anymore. You used to be able to get some good deals if you bought in bulk and bales and stuff like that, but it's not cheap anymore. These cost me £10 a piece. There's 25 in this little box. I'm hoping there's some good ones. And at the very least, nothing fake, although I'm willing to allow 10% for fakes or damage. Um, so let's hope there's not more than two to three that are dodgy. Right, we're going to crack this open and see what we got. There is an easier way to do these things, I should know. Back in the day, there we go. You can do it without a knife. That one. Alright, shift those out of the way. 25 pieces American sports jerseys. Wholesale. Let's see what we got. I've actually had this box sat for a couple of weeks without opening it. So I'm hoping that everything is okay. Straight away, that does not look like a sports jersey. That looks like a polo shirt, doesn't it? Anyway, let's have a look. Let's just move the camera a little bit closer. Is that a little bit better? Slightly. Um, for a minute there, I thought it was lovely, folded. What is this? Oh, I know what they've done. They put this on the top. Oh, not a bad looking Lacoste jumper, actually. Uh, no, they put this on the top to protect when you open the box, I assume, to make sure that you don't rip um, the contents. So I'm guessing that that's been put in there. I don't know if it's genuine. Hmm. Could even be some saleable value in that, I'm not sure. Anyway, I'll have a look at that later. I don't think that was meant to be in there as part of it. So let's see what we we got first. Where should we go? Should we put that there? Let's see what we got first. This looks like Indianapolis Colts. Colts with a double zero. Let's move you around a little bit. How's about that? Colts with a double zero. Size large. Reebok. All looks genuine to me. What have we got on the back? Just Colts, double zero. So not even a name. Yeah, a little bit of wear, but um, it's probably a 20, 25 pound jersey, maybe. I've sold a few very, very similar. Let's see what we've got here. Here we have an NBA jersey. Um, Pistons, Detroit Pistons, I think. Let me just have a look there. That's okay. That'll come out. What's this? At some point, this was $15. It's got number 33 Hill on the back. It looks okay to me. It's champion. Mm, let's just have a look down here. Mm, I'll have to do some research on it. Because it's champion, it's probably a little bit older. So that's what I'm getting on the neck, just in case you are looking at it. So we'll have to see. We'll have to see on that one. Sold pistons before. What have we got here? I don't know the colours of this one. Oh, it's a Seahawks. But it's not their sort of home colours. So I'm guessing this is like an away, away jersey or an alternative jersey. It's a size XL Nike. Is it genuine? It looks... I can normally tell with the Seahawks whether these line up here. It looks okay to me, that. Has it got the tag inside yet? 
I'm taking that as a win. Um, I'm not sure the value of that one because I've only ever had the uh, normal sort of home jersey. I've not had that white one before. So, again, don't forget, these are £10 each. So you decide if you think that there's value in it. I'm hoping there will be. This is starter. So vintage potentially. Again, the team is escaping me. It's a size 48, which is probably around a large. I think a 50. A 50 is roughly a large. So we're in and around a large size. Woodson 24. It needs a clean. It needs running through. It needs running through the wash, but that should be fine. But I don't know the team, unfortunately. Again, it's a white one that team escapes me. What we've got here, we've got an MBA top. Oh, what is this? West on the front. All-Star jersey, All-Star game, Houston 2006. That's a nice looking badge. That looks all legit to me. Sometimes these badges can really give it away. I'm getting used to identifying fake American jerseys and this one to me looks pretty good the more you deal with them the more you kind of get there's actually a there's a tag in that there's a thingamajig security tag uh, that looks decent that some kind of all star top yeah we like that one what do we have here what is this? This is another NBA, which Thunder. Um, oh, I've sold Thunder before, but who is it? Looks pretty old, to be honest. It's got the old, an older label, but what year are we talking? Oh, not mega old. 2015, I'm happy that this is a, is a legit one. Who have we got on the back? Adams 12. Yeah, I need to check that one out. Viking top, NFL. It's a little bit creased, it's been in there a while. To flatten that out. It's a Nike size large. Uh, I'm not 100% happy straight away. I'm not happy with this from a legit point of view. I'm talking. It's got Peterson on the back, 28. Now, I'll tell you why I'm not happy with it. I'll tell you why. Let's have a look on the inside because this might also give me a backup. Look at the inside. Look at the um, numbers. And sometimes these can be legit, but a lot of the time when you get this stuff peeling off, look, it's not great. So that's one warning sign. The second warning sign, just so that you know what you're looking for. Have a look at this at the bottom. Now, Nike do not cut. Can you see it? Nike don't cut on straight lines and then sew it wonky so that is a fake so there's our first dodgy one Let's shove that down there remember we're going to allow two to three which is ten percent we've got Steelers nfl top here a little bit dirty reebok i've had this number 86 before ward on the back it's stitched but Let's have a look. Size 54. This one could be okay. But a little bit of research. Uh, NFL badge ain't great. I'm not 100% happy with that. That's not straight on the middle either. Oh. Here we go again. Here we go again. I'm going to say that this one might not be. I'm going to say 
fake. On that. Let's see what this one is. is. This this is another Steelers one, but it's a little one. It's a little one. It's a size medium. Medium boys, maybe. Yeah, medium youth. Youth medium. I actually think this is okay. It's just medium youth and it's got the relevant Nike tags in here. So we're okay with that one. Although it's probably not that massive value. I'd be lucky to double my money on that one. Well, this is an old Adidas Charlotte Hornets top. Now, if it's legit, that's the question. Um, it looks quite nice. I'll have to do a bit of research on this one. There's the tag. Um, let's have a look at the... Hmm. What's it got on the bottom? Hardwood Classics XL Adidas. And on the back, Bogues number one. So, a little bit of research required on that one. Takes time to deal, I, I find anyway, because I'm not an expert on USA jerseys, but it does take time to deal with them, to do your research, make sure you're not selling anything dodgy. Um, an NFL Texans top, Nike. It's got the embossed there on the bottom. Tag has been cut out. We've lost some of the tag there. Again, I'm not convinced by this one. There are so many copies around. And if you see here on the on the embroidery here, you see how it's joined up? See how each letter is joined up with a one thread of embroidery. Hmm, that shouldn't really be like that. I'm going to say that's not right. I'm going to say that's fake. Oh, what is this? This is a Cardinals NFL top. Size 48. Oh, seriously creased. Mm, not seeing a tag on the inside. Again, we've got a... Have we? Yeah, we've got a joined up embroidery there. Inside tag. Let's have a look at the numbers and stuff. Oh, the numbers are stuck on. The numbers are, are stuck. Mm. Peterson. I'm going to uh, do some research on that. What's this one? Another NFL, this is a 49ers top, San Francisco. It's labelled as a 40. Missing a label on the inside, not a good start, not a good sign. Caper Nick. Number seven. Mm. Mm. Not great. I think that's dodgy. We ain't doing too good here. We is going to be lucky to get our money back, I think. We've got a Boston Celtics um, NBA jersey. This looks good quality, so straight away you just feel... You feel the difference, you know what I mean? You can feel a difference. It's got a nice Adidas tag on the inside there. It's got a dated tag, which is 2013. So straight away, we're happy with that one. Rondo, I don't know the name because I'm not an NBA fan. What's this? This is a Broncos NFL jersey. We are lacking a lot of branding, so we are lacking a fair bit. We've also got the dodgy backing. I 
I'm going to say dodgy on that. I am going to double check all these that I'm putting in the dodgy pile, just in case I'm not right. Instinct is what I'm going off at the moment and some bits of evidence. Uh, Cavaliers, Jersey, Adidas. The neck label looks okay. Have we got a date anywhere? No. So this one, let's have a look at that Adidas. Hmm. NBA. This one I'm going to do a bit of checking on. So I'm not 100% sure. So I'll put it in the OK pile for now. What's this? A Patriots top by the looks of it. Patriots. Yeah. Number 28. A size XL, which I'm going to say is a youth. Yeah, it's a youth XL. Everything looks good on this. I've sold quite a few Patriots. Dylan 28. I don't know if that is a player or the person that bought the jersey. I'll have to check, but that one looks fine. That looks fine. What have we got here? Another Seahawks jersey. Another white Seahawks one, which actually I've, I've not had white Seahawks tops before. It's a Reebok large. Who's on the back? Hasselbeck, number eight. I'm going to say this is okay. Yeah, I've got, I feel like this is okay. Looks good to me, that one. It's all, it, it's normally the ones that have got these numbers on, like these sewn on patches. A lot of the time, they, they're the ones that are problematic. Uh, what's this? A Nike uh, Packers jersey. Size large. I'm not happy with this, really. I'm not happy. This is not right. You see here, again, down to the stitching. Look, it's not even straight. It's not even straight against the print. So that's really poor. That's really poor. And there's no way that's real. No way, Jose. Right, we've got an NBA top. Thunder again. Adidas size large. I'm not happy with this. Not happy one bit. And that is because of this. Look at that. That is dodgy as you like. I'm not having that. We're way over the uh we're way over the allowed number of pieces here. Texans top here. This is NFL Reebok, I think. Oh no, NFL Pro Line. Size medium. Quality feels quite good on this, which again, it makes you think that it's going to be okay. This cutie needs a wipe down on the number, but they that should come off because it's on the number. That feels okay, that one. Texans. Uh, we've got an NBA here. This looks like a Chicago Bulls, and it is. Feels old. Feels vintage. But the label is very, very worn to the point where it's not even... It's not even legible anymore. Um, stitching is not great on it. Let's see if we've got any other telltale signs. Let's have a look here. Mm. Mm. So Jordan on the back. Is it real? This one. This one. Um, it feels like like a no, but I'm going to put it in the research pile. Is this a Packers again? Packers top. Reebok looks good. All the uh, signs are good on this one. A little bit of wear on here, but I might be able to improve upon that. XL. 
Anything on the back? Long well number eight. So that one's okay. Another Jordan top. Are we actually going to get a genuine Jordan top? Is this a genuine one? It's XL made in Thailand. Mm. NBA. It's got this inside tag here. Research required on this. It's not looking good, is it? It's not looking good. I'm going to put it on the fake pile. Oh, we're lucky if we're 50 50 here. Is this another Vikings top? Oh, no, it's a Ravens. It's Ravens. It's legit. I can just tell straight away with some of these tops. Uh, legit, but it is a Youth XL. Flacco, number five. So let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got. We got one. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen that I'm okay with, sixteen that I think are saleable. That's about 400 quid, isn't it? So, paid 250. And then I've got a couple like this that I've got to do some research on. So they're 50 50. And then there's about eight there that are fakes. So, um, not the best. But I'm just going to have to plow through the good ones and see what profit I can make out of them. There could be one or two in here that are worth more than the average, but I'm going to say average. That's the whole point of an average, but I'm going to say average £30 a piece. That's probably around about right. There you go. Very, very difficult to get any good quality USA jerseys when you buy blind like that. So one third are probably no good to me. But there's still some profit there, hopefully. So it's better than nothing. But by the time you've done all your work on it, you got to think, is it worth it? It's not. I guarantee it's not worth it. Not for that lot, anyway. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give us a thumbs up. Drop a comment. Let me know what you thought of the contents of this box. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Um, I will leave a couple of interesting videos here. Something similar to what you just watched. You might like it. See you later.